Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Girl Lost Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a coin, where if you go close enough, a GUI will appear, and you have to hold E for a certain amount of seconds, and then up here, you will, uh, you can set the amount of cash you want the coin to increase, uh, just like this. And I'll also be showing you how to make the coin disappear after you have collected it once already. So let's just get right into the video. So before we start the video, make sure you go into the view tab and open explore and properties. After that, go into the model, uh, click the arrow under the part and click cylinder. So this will be the coin we'll be using. And if you want, you can go into the move and change it to 0.5 studs. After that, click on the cylinder, click scale and just scale it in as much like that. And then now you can size your coin to however big you want. Uh, I'm going to make mine about that big. And after that, you can click on it, go to the workspace, and just rename it to coin. After that, you can customize it. So go into the properties of the coin. And then brick color, I'm going to change it to new yellow. So it has a yellow look. I'm also going to turn off shadows and make it anchored so that it doesn't roll around. So now that we have our coin, the next thing we need is the GUI to show you the coin. So under the coin, click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. And then go into the properties of the proximity prompt, go into action text and just write press E to collect coin. Or you can write whatever you want, but this is what the player should do to trigger something. After that, I'm going to go into the hold duration, and I'm going to set it to 3, so the player has to hold E for 3 seconds. I'm going to change the max activation distance to 15, or that's like the radius of how, how close the player needs to be to the actual coin. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go into the object text and just rename it to coin. So it should look something similar to this. So, so now we have the coin and the GUI. All we need now is the actual leader stats, so go into the service script service, click the plus, and enter in a script. Rename the script to leader stats. After that, you can write what I write, but if you don't want to, the script is in the description. So game dot players dot player added colon connect function, put in brackets, and then put player and then delete the elder bracket and then go down the line and then write local leader stats equals to instance dot new and then put in the quotation marks and then you can put in folder after that go down the line and write leader stats dot name equals to quotation mark leader stats with a lowercase l after that go down the line and write leader stats dot parent equals to player after that you can go down two lines and write local uh, coin equals to instance dot new and put quotation marks into value go down line and write coin dot name equals to quotation marks coin you can go down line you can write coin dot value or this is how much uh, of this uh, leader stat that you want the player to start with so I'm just gonna set it to zero so the player starts with no coin at all and after that you can go down another line and just write coin dot parent equals to leader stats and since coin you know sounds kind of weird I'm actually just gonna change all the coins into cash because I feel like that makes a little bit more sense and even the one in the quotation marks so now everything is cash. So now we have the coin, the GUI, and the actual money. We just need the script to hook everything up. But before we do that, we need a remote event. So go into replicated storage, click the plus, and enter in a remote event. And you can rename the remote event to collect coin. And now you can go back to the proximity prompt, click the plus, and enter in a script. So you can write what I write, but all the scripts are in the description. So first we need the variables. So local trigger equals to script.parent and then go down the line and write local remote event 
equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child put quotation marks collect coin so make sure that the name here uh, matches with the one in the replicated storage after that you can go down two lines and then write trigger dot triggered colon connect function and then put in brackets and write player and go down the line and write remote event colon fire client and write player so after that you can go into the starter GUI click the plus and enter in a local script and then you can rename the script to add coin and you can write what I write so once again we need the variables so local remote event equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child quotation marks collect coin and then go down line and write local player equals to game dot players dot local player and then go down line and write local cash equals to player dot leader stat dot cash after that you can go down two lines and write remote event dot on client event colon connect function and then put brackets delete the bracket go down the line and just write cash dot value plus equal to five so uh, this number in the back is how much uh, like each time they collect the coin it's how much uh, you want to add to their total cash value and this next part is only if you want the coin to destroy after uh, they've collected it uh, but if you don't want that to happen then go back to the script under the proximity prompt and after you fire the remote event just go down line and write trigger dot parent colon destroy and that's it so now we can go test it out so here I am in the game as you can see we have the cash up here we have the coin right here if we walk close enough the coin will appear and then this is the one with the destroying coin if you didn't add the destroy the coin script then your coin should stay after you collect it but we're gonna hold for three seconds the coins gone and we have plus five cash so yeah that is it for this tutorial if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and share if you want to see how you can make random cash or like make a GUI pop up showing how much cash you got click on the video on the screen right now it will bring you to an extra video which will quickly show you how to do that but until then i'll see you guys next time bye